Welcome back to Bomb Club Deluxe. Let's check another bomb type in World 10. So we're, this is a very pink oasis. Yep. He's sleeping. Oh, it's okay. It's affected the sand bomb. Okay. But if you move the sand bomb, does it cause other bombs to be sleepy then? It can't detonate any bomb, but it still needs to be destroyed. Well then. I cannot detonate these bombs because they're asleep and this doesn't do anything. So I need to detonate one of these. Just get rid of all of them. Okay, now that the sand bomb is detonated, the sleeping effect is gone, and there we go. Okay, apart from that, any bomb can be put to sleep. And bombs can be detonated the same turn they've woken up. Okay. Bomb Battle Advance. Okay. Hat stacking. Well, only the hard hat can stack three at a time. Because we decided that other hats can't be stacked. Anyway. So Doom Bombs that we shouldn't explode. What? Oh my gosh, you can do that to... <laughs> That's a good use. The immediate first use of the mechanic is to disable these Doom Bombs with uh, sleeping bombs. Wow, every one of these is a unique animation, I think? Huh. Alright, so we want to get rid of that. Ice bombs that will get launched as far as possible. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't just put a regular bomb. I guess, like, this one is the annoying one, right? So you would want to put the ice bomb there, because the placement of that one I don't care about. But whatever this is... Um, probably here... No, no, no. You do not want that one to sleep. This is an issue, because... <laughs> oh, that's right! Okay, so we need the ice bomb to be here, because if it was just a regular bomb, it would be asleep and wouldn't be able to blow up the sand bomb. So it does, in fact, need to be an ice bomb that's pushed into that position to blow it up. But then what about this one on this side? Okay, I've got it. Move this to the side, and then have this trigger and move it down. There we go. So we've triggered the fireworks on the sandbox bombs at the same time. And there we go. Well then, <laughs> let's continue. So we have this. We need to explode this probably. We have some beach bombs that look like they're attempting to go to diagonals. Unfortunately, if I put a beach bomb right here, it'll not be alive. So I'll need to already have a charged um, moving object in order to actually get it there. Something like that? What the point where I'm still a little confused on how to interact with the mechanic? Um, I was gonna do that and even like a baby bomb here. And this seems like an okay start. But I don't know. I need to definitely need to do more than that. Already, this is not very intuitive. What I I also found that you can explode this the stunning bomb, and it doesn't do anything useful at all. Okay, I spent minutes thinking about, like, this puzzle seems so impossibly hard, seemingly, because you gotta blow up this and also later blow up these bombs. But if you keep the stun in here, it's, like, so impossible to do that. I didn't realize that if we have two beach bombs like this, then this will wake up at the same time as this bomb. Because that beach bomb has just pushed this away from this being stunned. So with that new knowledge, I think it should be much easier now. Uh, maybe connect here, here, and then here. Is that it? Okay. I might have not even needed that one. Okay, so yeah, puzzle was way easier than I thought because of that interaction with the two beach bombs. Um, that was nice to see it, though. Okay, next level is 10-3. We have an asleep doom bomb here that's stunned currently. We also have another uh, sand bomb we can place. Lol. Good luck hitting that. Yeah, well, it's not going to let me click because it's stunned. But this is the first one we need to click. It's a horizontal one. Why is this space here? That's suspicious. Although this will immediately turn this on, which is a little worrying. We need to avoid that. So, I mean, let's do that. Maybe an ice bomb that connects here. I also need to fix this. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like I even need to touch the 
touch this afterwards. Ice gets pushed, and then both fireworks explode. There we go. Cool. What? What? Oh my gosh, I just realized. I also need to hit the sand bomb. That's why I didn't succeed there. Alright. <laughs> what? What is even happening to me? Oh, the sand bomb just stunned these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not easy. Um, or rather, wasn't as easy as I thought. Okay, instead, we can actually connect the ice bomb here. And that'll connect it there without me even needing to do anything. And then this can just fix the other two, and there we go. Again, I need to start on this due to the starter hat on it. Okay. Fixed and improved. Okay. This is... Where is four? There we go. The landscaping level, which means I can create any of these, uh... Delete... <laughs> delete and create any terrain. There's this up top. We'd probably prefer... Well, we don't have an ability to, uh... To only hit the vertical. So we'll need to stun these or something, right? Like this, and then... And send a bomb to it. We also need to explode this eventually, and likely it'll be by putting a bomb here. So maybe beach bomb this away, and then here. Is that is that all? Looks like that's all. Cool. Okay, bomb party. Well, that is an anti-fireworks, so I don't want to get it hit. I use a sand bomb there to, but that doesn't look great to have that there. Especially when we need to destroy that later on. So, how do we not explode the anti-firework? Okay, I'm not a fan that I can't test this out without just dumping the other bombs in here first. But, anyway. Let me see if this will work. No, it does not seem like it does. My hope is that I can make some sort of sequence where this hits the ice bomb. But then something else is also hitting it downwards and away from the anti-firework so I don't hit it. Okay, what about this situation? What? Alright, I mean, that, that did not serve the purpose of getting this out of here, but it was certainly interesting that the down and the right caused the down-right move. That's a first for what uh, for this game. Oh, wait, 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 look at this. If it's just stunned, then it won't hit. Okay, I need a stun bomb. I don't know if I'm going to unstun it either, but that must be the process where it is stunned so it doesn't do anything. And then somehow it needs to go away from this position, aka this one is probably definitely the ice bomb and it gets uh, removed somehow. Okay, I have this set up, and what about the other ones? Do I just party hat bomb and... Um, dude, where are the other ones going to go? But yeah, okay, I'm going to try to party hat that bomb away. So I do that. Then this party hat comes in in the time to make this explode. And there we go. Wait, that was it? Wait, 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 I thought I didn't successfully- Oh, I did ex- Okay, I thought I didn't successfully explode this bomb. I did. And, uh, there we go. That's just the solution. That's just- That is really cool. Alright. Okay, that's done. Where is this? Where's 10-6? Doom bomb here and here. You would really prefer those not to explode. I could put that on a corner to prevent that one, but what about these? We want to do that at the very end to try to, uh... Hmm. I mean, I'll just do that. I mean, can I? Is this gonna work? No way, right? What? Okay, uh, there are two magma bombs, I believe, which is why that didn't work. Hmm. Dang. Oh, hard hat, right, there's hard hat sitting here. Still, like, okay. Now, what about, uh, hmm. All right, then. Let's not talk about the fact that there's two bombs, uh, two things they didn't use anyway. Okay. What the? Now that's new. All of the colored bombs that I want to explode are currently stunned, so I'll need to get rid of them all first. Oh, what a tease! There's a magma bomb that could explode everything, but probably will not. Hmm. So I obviously want to get rid of some of these. Oh! For- and, and that- alright, we need to put it there, otherwise it gets stunned as well. And... Hmm. 
And then what? Is this like boom, boom, whoops. and here so that it explodes and touches that? And then maybe the magma at the very end? So I'm hoping that the magma bomb just explodes every color splash bomb at the very end. <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. All right, cool. That is 9, 10, 8. That is 6 on it, as well as 2 anti-fireworks that I do not want to hit. So, this is rem reminiscent of early levels that were like this. Although, I don't know what the... Why? Why do I want these? Hmm. Okay, it does seem like these are going to help me. I need... There are six bombs that explode, so I will need to get every one of these bombs to hit the Mega Bomb. And looks like the Sand Bombs are going to do me good here. Because it can prevent one of the regular bombs from exploding immediately. Let's do this. We can do the same tactic here. There's, it seems like it's, there's much less space to do it around this way, which makes me skeptical. Okay, let's try this. One hit. Two. Turn that on. Lol, didn't use a sand bomb. And there we go. Did not hit the anti-fireworks either, so there we go. And 10-9. Some doom bombs and some magma bombs that exist seemingly just to troll me. Which one is the harder firework to get so I can choose not to get it then? Um... Like, this Ice Bomb can get knocked all the way here. Don't actually want to hit that one. What, like, this one can just go here and then I don't touch that? Is that it? Um, this one hitting the Sand Bomb is not great. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, just, just move that uh, slightly out of the way and we can be done with that one. Seems like this is just wins, though. Cool. Next is 10-10. Another magma bomb, similar to the previous. This one really wants to explode the freaking adjacent bomb, which is uh not fun. Hmm. We don't want that to happen. But yeah, this one also wants to uh wants to kind of go across here, right? So I'm not sure how that would all work. I can do that and hit the inactive Doom Bomb temporarily. What about this? You just do that and that? Hmm. This is off now because of the... Oh, jeez. That, well, that that's a bad idea then. Okay, looks like this setup is going to work. So this goes down. Hits this and then the Magma Bomb. But there are no other bombs to trigger anymore. So there we go. Hey, so, Desert Ruins, huh? And what about these? Oh, <laughs> oh yes. I do wonder if I've unlocked 40 gold medals yet. Alright, anyway, bye.